Hi, this is Norcaffeine and welcome to some Tropical 5. This will be uh, me featuring the campaign of the Waterborne DLC, which uh, is the newest one. Let's see here. We will have rare disasters. Now, this campaign uh, is set uh, as the normal time span of the as the vanilla campaign. You will start in the colonial era, moving up to the modern times. But uh, your mission will be to acquire the Black Pearl. So, uh, I'm not sure. Yeah, I will show you the intro scene here, just for you to enjoy the pleasant plans of El Presidente himself. Now, I'm also playing some random Latin music in the background because the uh, soundtrack of the game is How copyrighted. How the legend of the Black Pearl? It's a jewel of indescribable beauty. Mostly because nobody has ever seen it. Some say the pearl has mystical powers. Others say it is cursed. No matter. I want it. The legends say the pearl is resting in the depths of the Caribbean Sea. A bit of luck and a couple of loaded dice won me a governor's title in the region. The resources of the two islands under my command should help me finance the treasure hunt. The Black Pearl will soon be mine. Okay, so there we are. President A has... Greetings, oh. my good chum. I'm ex... Yeah, he has given us his ideas for the plan. I'm sorry if the video here is lagging a bit. But uh, as you can probably see, the water has some funky <laughs> graphics about it as well. I'm really not sure why that is the case, although it is present, which is kind of sad. Now, let's try to get our bearings here on this first island case. I'm just swapping right in again after a shortcut there. Yes, we have these normal missions, uh, new logging camp. Let's start Greetings, again. old chap. Have I got a deal for you today? As yes. Crown representative, I can offer you your very own trading license. So we will be getting the... Um, I think I will take the Dutch one. Why the hell not? Fuck you, king. <laughs> uh, I'm not really into that whole deal there. So, uh, we can just start off with building something over yonder. And I will show you the island. So this is the uh, one of the new islands there. As you can probably see, this is one of the islands we will be playing half the campaign at. And it's sad because this f funky water graphics here will be... It's kind of at the end of the map, so if I'm out here it won't be a problem. But you can see the edge of the map. It's... I think it's a bug. It must be. But we can check out the new... As you can see, this <laughs> island has some humongous fishing deposits at the other end here. However, it's quite hard to get to, as you can probably tell by this piece of land here, so you'll have to build a road all the way around. It's not very worthwhile grabbing during the colonial era because people will be traveling by foot. But in the World War era, for example, it may be advantageous to get over there. So, um, as we start off, we will have His to get... His Royal Majesty oh. has instructed me to... We will have to get some oyster farms. Now, I took those cash there because, as you can probably tell, the oyster farm will be costing us three and a half grand. They will be taking up a fishing spot, infinitely, indefinitely maybe <laughs> is the right word, and they won't mat it won't matter if the uh, fish de depletes because it can't. So at the beginning here, we will be having ourselves a nice income of oyster. They will be traveling to and from with these little fishing boats here. So we will need to have a dock nearby, and they will deposit it in with their fishing boats there. So, having spent all our money on the oyster farms, we don't ha really have that much left for good show. Old. Oh, uh, for other um, workplaces. Sadly, let's lower this here <coughs> so I can talk over the advisors. Yeah, we have to build the library, which is uh, <laughs> where is that? Here, for five grand. Now I. I don't want to go into deficit at the beginning here. 
Although I'll probably experience that happening quite soon. But just let's not rush the, uh, the... What's it called? Not rush the... Um, the obvious, that's the word. Never mind. Screw that. <laughs> um, so... Yeah, we will have a cargo ship coming in soon, or a freighter, giving us some cash. So I might as well just build something to increase my standing with the people here. For example, this building over here. And uh, we will have ourselves some entertainment and some food, because already somebody has died. We started out with 100 citizens, which is quite sad. Now, uh, I will do this trick here. Our inventor manager will grant us some research points, even though he or she does not work in a library or uh, any other research, uh, research providing buildings. You can place the manager in any old building. Actually, I will just put him there. There we go. So we will get the, be getting 20 research points, which will in the end grant us any of these technologies in under a year. So, as you can probably see, one pearl unit will be granting approximately two pesos His Majesty each, which is nice. It's not the most uh, in-bringing uh, resource you can provide. I'm not sure. Yeah, fish can be eaten, so it's a boon or bonus to have that instead of the oyster. But if you can manage, why not? And also, the bonuses here is that they increase the effectiveness of restaurants, glass bottom restaurants, and taverns in the area. Or not in the area, but on the whole island. And they will be supplying the local market of jewelry workshops on the island. Which is nice. Education so, I will not be sending my where I would have ended up people out just yet. So, just keep on uh, increase the budget. Why not? So now we have five grand, which is very good, <laughs> despite... Or not despite anything, actually, that's very good, no matter, because I rarely have that much money in the start of the game here. So I will be... Um, not building anything of that just yet. Maybe get ourselves another logging camp, because I have to export the, the logs, and why not? I, I rarely start this heavily with logging. But why not? It's a cheap building, it grants... Uh, you would normally have them around for a couple of years before they this go down. This is lucky day. I traded all my money for a magic compass that will show us the way to the Black Pearl. We only have to close our eyes and wish with all our heart. Yeah, so <laughs> I met a really strange pirate at the docks who goes by the name of Captain Joe. So he sold... Um, he sold penalty mode his compass. This is a great chance to, ch uh, to dedicate our lives to the same goal. So he won't, he would wa want to get the pearl himself, but he gave up. Luckily for us, we now have his compass, so we can start searching for the treasure of the island ourselves. Now, a lot of this, uh, this game or the, the franchise, uh, basically, uh, are heavy on references to games and popular movies, etc, etc. So this is normally a r some reference to uh, the Pirates of the Caribbean. As you probably ha could tell by the Black Pearl being present, you're not going to find a ship, you're going to find a Black Pearl. I've been... Uh, I'm not finished the campaign on my own. I've gotten halfway through, I think, but then I thought I would want to maybe record some of this. So why the hell not? So now I am actually working myself finished with this goal here, I think. We have 500s, we need 2000 units of pearls to finish the mission. For the herd honk. So let's just increase the budget with one level so the ships will be coming in Someone stole my manuscript and more regularly. It under a pseudonym. Yeah, so we get the cowboys technology there, but I'm not having any ranches, so uh, screw that. I should actually have got the sickle 
first because I have plantations and the selective breeding is just so overpowered I feel you can get up to like 350 effectiveness on the farms if you have played if everything is done correctly um, if you get the His best fertilities you get the you get the ranches next to them and increase their uh, uh, with their upgrades, manure fertilization with the the cattle ranches, etc., etc., you can get some sick bonuses to this. And now we finished our I first. I so excited! I was fishing when Captain Joe's magical compass went crazy. I left my boat to mark the spot and swam back to the shore to tell you. Thank you, Penultimo. You sacrificed a lot. So now we have finished the first task there, and um, he probably found the pearl. But I don't think we can trust Penultimo because you know he is known to be the brightest of the bunch, if uh, I may be so frank. So, uh, but we will see how current events will transpire. It seems that I accidentally forgot to drop the anchor when I left my boat. Now the location of the Black Pearl is lost. Yeah, <laughs> so he didn't drop the anchor, the boat floated away. Uh, if only there was a world of knowledge where we could trace the myth of the Black Pearl among thousands of old crumbling handwritten pages. Well, how good that I am actually pursuing this task and also halfway through building my library here. It's always worthwhile to wait with the libraries because you will eventually get a quest by Evita uh, Vasquez, which will grant you some sort of reward, so don't build a Russian library at the beginning of the game. Now we can fire the inventor and hire the landlord and reapply her or him again. So now we have some mentor manager bonus Fifty to bottom. this house. We need a plan. And sadly I built a Catholic Fifty mission. Bottom. But it's always nice to have some more because I will be building another residential zone somewhere else. And the religious happiness. I'm not oh, really chat good at maintaining that. Whoa! Okay, so we gained 30 new citizens here, which is very Great nice. News. While searching through the crates of colony supplies, we found a... Yes, yeah, so we now gained a sickle here. Fantastic. Oh, I spent a lot of money there. His and we will be researching the planks, don't you worry about that. But, um... Yeah. So, despite everything, we are actually proceeding along quite nicely. Now, the first mission is that hard. The next missions coming up will be, so I would really advise you to gain, uh, build up a strong economy on all your starting islands here. Uh, so you are uh, <laughs> just saying that while I'm going into a deficit. Well, nobody's perfect. And I ain't. Uh, so uh, yeah, G uh, build up an economy which can stand the tide in the coming years. It's very nice. It's always nice to have a lot of money. So don't try to end the mission. Yeah, I tested the underwater bell myself, and now my ears hurt. Yeah. Oh God, damn it! Yeah, so we built. <laughs> wow. So we. Uh, yeah. News. Now you know. So we, I actually had, I spent um, uh, three and a half grand on an opera house. Now I have to build another one. The positive thing is, I'm not going to tear this down. So I will be ahead on some, in my uh, both religious and entertainment uh, needs in the future. But now you know. Save the library, save the Catholic mission, and also save the opera house. Um. So. Yeah, I really hate that building there. We will have to initiate an export route to gain Thanks to your efforts, some revol revolutionary support. Which is nice. So we gained three educational citizens for that. Or educated, educated citizens, rather. Which is good. To fill up our libraries. But, uh... Yeah, so after this, I think there's only one or two more missions. Very easy mission this is, uh, or this campaign mission, these submissions are rather easy as well. 
uh, very basic, uh, so to speak. There we go. Now we have the new opera house, and we will be gaining the diving bell, which uh, is why they needed the Catholic mission and the opera house. I sat with three other members of the yeah. research. So we gained the new technology. I am so angry with those divers. They said they are too underpaid to go on such a dangerous mission. <laughs> so we have to bribe five fishermen. That can be quite expensive. Oops. So, uh, amigo, I will have to bribe you. <coughs> I will have to Could bribe be of help? you. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, he's a rich corn farmer. I don't want to bribe him. Good day. I will bribe you. At your service. And I will bribe you. And let's just bribe her as well. Good evening. I think that is five fishermen. I am so angry with those. Two. Why didn't what? Didn't I bribe them? Pretty oh god. Dead. I bribed you. There we go. Okay. I didn't lose the money, I hope. Aye, aye, aye. Didn't seem like. Yeah. And sadly some of them aren't just poor, poor fishermen, no, so. No, no bribe there was a bit more than normally. However, we finished the mission and getting some cash. Nice, nice, nice. Underwater bell tests weren't sufficient, uh, old fellow. Even Penultimo can dive that deep if he holds his breath. Yeah, so we they are already experimenting on the bat escape, a more sophisticated and complex method of r to reach the deep depths of deepest depths. A friend of mine runs Taikia, a company obsessed with parts. They can disassemble any bathyscape and ship it to us in the form of thousands of tiny bits. The rest is DIY. So now we have to import uh, 9999 pieces of something. Sadly, I hate to import, but we have to. The one thing we can is to import logs. No, no available ships, so we will have to build ourselves a dock, which is also a mission we have, thankfully. I love when these things stacks up, but that will probably be part of the next episode because this has gone on long enough. So thank you for watching this first episode of the, the missionaire. World is getting us. And uh, I will hope that you stick around to see how this mission or campaign transpires in the future. So thank you for watching. Please leave a like, comment and subscribe. And I will be seeing you the next time. Goodbye.